It's a mental battle between your body and your mind. Body screaming, I'm achy. I'm tired. Why are we doing this? Reminding yourself of your why. People do a lot of what they call, they do cold water therapy to heal from trauma, deal with depression. When you're in that cold water, or you're taking a cold shower, or you are in an ice bath, you're not depressed. You're just focused on how cold this is and breathing to survive the cold temperature. So um, there's many benefits to cold water plunging. For me personally though, I do it for the dopamine spike. I do it because it wakes you up, it makes you feel alert, it makes you feel alive. And I want to reward myself uh, for, for waking up, right? And, and getting to work and that's why I do it so. So now that the cold shower is done, we're getting ready for cardio. We are going to do Some cardio. I'm gonna go jog around. Outdoor car or outdoor cardio, which is also has therapeutic benefits to it. So just follow me. Three activities you want to do in the morning. You want to wake up, get right out of bed, affirmations, journal, cold water plunging, spike your central nervous system, and move your body. That is the routine that almost every single CEO that I admire and follow, that's what they, that's what they do. Some might wake up at 8 a.m. and do it. Others might wake up at 4 a.m. like me and do it. Find out what works best for you and do these three things every single morning. Cardio cold water plunging affirmations. So right now we're doing our cardio. We're here in downtown LA. This will be my cardio spot for the next 12 weeks. Uh, 20, 20 to 15 minutes of cardio. 20 to 15 minutes of cardio. Every single morning, we're gonna do lists, low intensity, steady state cardio. There's two types of cardio you could do. High intensity interval cardio, or LIS, low intensity steady state cardio. Now LIS cardio I find works the best for getting rid of stubborn body fat, whereas high intensity cardio gets rid of glucose in the muscle, doesn't really get rid of body fat. So I would say any cardio where you keep your heart rate 132 to 136, depending on your activity level and your cardiovascular endurance, is gonna be ideal for your, for your LIS. Let's get after it. It's a mental battle. Time becomes linear, and it feels like the entire time that you're doing this cardio and you're running, it's a mental battle between your body and your mind. Body screaming, I'm achy. Hamstrings are tight. I'm tired. Why are we doing this? This is really needed. And your mind, your mind needs to your mind needs to play that long-term game of reminding yourself of your why. So every time the body's screaming, the mind is saying, we're doing this because you lead from the front. We're doing this because you lead by example. We're doing this because you do what it takes. We're doing this because resource period. We're doing this because we do the hard things. All right, so cardio's done. We're heading back home. Ugh. And you know what's interesting? What I just spoke about, the mental battle between your mind and your body when you're doing cardio, 
It applies to everything in your life. It applies to business, the mental battle, when you need to make a large investment. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna fail? For me, it's all the time when I'm making strategic acquisition investments and I'm putting money into an ad agency, I'm putting money into a new product, and I'm putting money into a new outreach for new clients for Per Fitness. I'm always asking myself, oh crap, like what if this doesn't work? Will I be able to make payroll? That's, the mental, that's a mental battle right there all on its own. And then by allowing your mind to, to battle your body and your mind wins, you make your mind stronger. So then your mind will win in your favor when you're having these, these gut feelings and this heart is kind of like, and you're nervous and you're anxious and you're like, oh my God, is this the right decision to make? Your mind will also win in those favors. Also with relationships, especially for men. If you're a man and you're watching this, right now we're going through this whole red pill, blue pill movement. And really what it basically is, is like, as a man, you genuinely can't make emotional re re you can't make emotional decisions or have emotional reactions. You need, to, you need to be a warrior in a garden, not a gardener in a war. So you need to have a strong discipline in your mind. So I believe that moving your body, doing cardio, not only do you get runners high and you feel amazing and endorphins are kicking up and you guys feel like, no, wow, he's much more awake now. You also strengthen your mind, which will allow you to win in relationships, which will allow you to win in business, which will allow you to win on your own ambitions and projects, and it will allow you to, in my opinion, become a warrior in a garden. Someone who can control their emotions, control their mindset, go after what they want to accomplish in life, and just ultimately win at life. And I think that's really what CEO Physique is all about. Every time I do these seasons, I'm showing you guys that I can tap into all these variables, make sure my relationships are healthy, make sure my business is healthy, make sure my body's healthy, make sure my mind's strong. All right, so let me share with you guys. This is dinner, breaking the fast also. Let me share with you guys what nutrition is going to be like for CEO Physique season three. And I'm gonna kind of break down the overall objective over the next four weeks on a piece of paper here for you all, right? So this will be four weeks. Be from July 5th until August 5th more or less, right? Now, basically what we wanna focus on in these next four weeks, the objective is, objective, you always wanna have an objective. So the objective is clean up nutrition. So we wanna have three core meals, three core meals. Break the fast, break the fast. Some of you guys know that as breakfast, but breakfast means break the fast. That's what breakfast stands for. So breakfast is break fast. Then we're gonna have meal two or lunch. Then we're gonna have meal three or dinner. Now for breaking the fast, we're gonna break the fast with a combination of anything that has eggs. So we wanna get saturated fats from whole eggs Okay, for meal two, we wanna go with the lean protein. So anything that has chicken breast or white fish, lean protein. And again, this, the objective here is just clean up the nutrition. So we're not counting macros yet. We're not counting calories yet. We're just cleaning up nutrition because for the last 12 months, I've been eating like the average person. Pizza, burgers, fries, uh, sushi, cookies. And then of course, regular food in between, but I haven't been conscious of what I've been eating. Now I've been maintaining this physique over the last 12 months while eating that way. Reminder, I've been building this body for over 15 years. So it's a lot harder for me to lose it just for taking a hiatus of about 12 months. But more importantly, I am more or less still trained. So if you find time to burn calories and exercise and you have lean muscle mass, you could kind of get away with eating Chick-fil-A and ordering a cookie or two cookies, because sometimes I'll order two. So what's the objective? The objective is clean up the nutrition. All right, meal three, dinner, we're gonna go with the lean protein 
and healthy fats or a fatty protein and a fatty protein just so you guys know what is a fatty protein we have steak okay bison salmon those are usually and then of course eggs are also a fatty protein but we're having that for breakfast so here's an example of a combination of all these things more or less right so here we have eggs bison vegetables and a bit of brown a bit of brown rice or white rice actually a bit of white rice and that's going to be our stir fry now you guys also saw in this episode the salmon and the chicken breast uh, the avocado and that's basically what I'm having three core three core meals these core meals are going to average anywhere between 150 to 300 calories which will put me at about 900 calories without any snacks okay so that's going to be how many calories I'm having more or less from these three core meals I want to recommend this for everybody you're also not going to go ahead and maintain that long term this is only for four weeks but what happened in these four weeks here is my weight is going to drop about 10 to 15 pounds mostly glucose and water and then after that we'll go into our building phase and I'll discuss with you guys what that looks like after these four weeks so please stay tuned for whatever episode comes out after August 5th stay tuned for whatever episode comes out after August 5th because we will discuss okay now we've detoxed the body we've cleaned up the nutrition I've gotten myself back to eating protein and not eating chick-fil-a pizza panda express some of my favorite things to eat then we need to now make sure that we're building muscle so how do we convert from clean eating to an anabolic nutrition program and we'll go over that on the episode after August 5th so make sure you turn on the notification bells there's actually a psychological factor that helps you eat less if you eat out of a meal prep container. So I've been doing this for many years and I can tell you that eating a, a meal out of a bowl or a plate makes you want to eat more. However, eating a meal out of a meal prep container, there's like a psychological factor behind it that when you're done and you just kind of dispose of the container, that's it, you're done. You feel like, okay, I finished it, I'm done. There's no seconds, like I'm not gonna go ahead. What I mean is I'm not gonna go back into the fridge and pour another serving into this container. It's, it's harder to do. Whereas if I have a pot or I'm like, I have a table full of food, it's easier for me to go ahead and get seconds. However, if I just have a container and I'm done with my container, it's easier for me to just say, okay, I'm done, it's over, and not get seconds. So, a little secret is, if you can find the time, scratch, 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 remix. A secret is, if you decide to make the time, because the time is there, we all have the same 24 hours. And that's what the secret, that's the secret right there, is if you, if you can convince yourself that we all have the same amount of time, so whatever other people are doing that I am seeing, I'm like inspired by or motivated by, you could also do, you're not limited you're capable of doing it they, they're human beings just like you are and they have 24 hours a day just like you do so it's entirely up up to you it's your choice and that's the whole matrix behind you know choice right red pill blue pill it's your choice what you choose to do with your life getting on right here anyways if you decide to make the time to meal prep i highly recommend that you do so you can buy these containers at walmart right dedicate a Sunday evening to not watching Netflix, to not binge watching TV, to not getting drunk or high or just wasting time in front of a computer on YouTube or on TikTok or Instagram. 
mindlessly scrolling. Dedicate a Sunday evening to meal prep, six, seven meals for the week. Very doable, very cost effective. And if you do that, your body will thank you, you know? So that's, uh, that's my little psychological wolf mentality hack for all of you guys watching. Turn off the TV right now. Turn off the computer right now. The episode's over. Turn it off, okay? Go meal prep. Go get in great shape. Go win our life. <laughs>